Welcome back to Let's Play Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we took forever to find the unknown. And now, bears, as I said in the previous video, are you ready? Are you ready to go searching for legendary Pokemon? Because I am. I'm not prepared, though, so I'm going to have to go to a shop. So, for the first time in a long time, one of the very few times I've ever used a Pokemon in this LP. We'll be needing a lot of Ultra Balls. I'll take those. And goodbye. It is time to go searching. The first one we need is to go to one island. I'm doing this in, um, well, there is really no order, really, but whatever. I'm just doing, well, I can't really tell you what Pokemon I'm going for first and all that, because then it would be spoiling it. But I think we may be needing Rock Smash. Chansey is luckily able to learn it. Chansey, the ultimate HM slave, so far anyway. You're really minimize, I guess. You won't be in many battles, if at all. I think we've only used Chansey in battle once or twice. I can't remember why we did that. Oh yeah, it was because it was a weak Pokemon and we wanted to catch it. So I guess Chansey is probably good for catching weaker Pokemon. Anyways, need to head back to Mount Ember. Damn it! Don't you just hate it when Spearows keep randomly encountering you? Hey, it's Persian! Well, this is new. Um, let's see if we can catch it, I suppose. Will it be an instant knockout? Nope! Good. Two for the price of one, I guess. Let's try and catch Persian. Ultra Ball. Oh man, the Master Ball is like way too close to the Ultra Ball. And... Gotcha! Persian was caught. The classy Pokemon has a vicious temperament. Beware, if it raises its tail straight up, it is a signal that it is about to pounce and bite. Uh-huh. Well, that's lovely. Now let's get out of the way. Let's head back to Mount Ember. Only this time we'll be going in a completely different direction. Let's go. Here we go. Mount Ember! Okay, I'd like to point something out. Where we're going now, if you were playing Leaf Green, you would have a possibility to encounter Magma. I will show you how to get Electabuzz in this game as well. You can get Electabuzz in this game, Magma, and Leaf Green. Electabuzz is in a place that's where I got Magnemite and evolved to a Magneton. You probably don't know exactly where that might be if you haven't played this game, because I didn't exactly explain where I got Magneton, did I? All in due time, viewers. Do you know how caves form inside volcanoes? When lava at the surface of magma hardens and the magma inside flows out, caverns are left behind. Is Pokemon trying to be educational now? Or what? Yep, we needed Rock Smash. Get through the boulders! Oh god. Should probably mention that when you do that, uh, like smash a rock, um, you will, uh, I'll get Geodude or Graveler at times. Usually Geodude, though. What's this? Oh, like that was really worth the walk, game. What the hell? Damn it! Seriously, game. Uh, this trainer is inevitable to face, as you can see. 
An active volcano is one that's erupting, or about to. Well, duh! Ha, pitiful. They say there's over 1,500 active volcanoes in the world. Just thinking about that, it makes me feel all hot and gooey inside. Yes. Kind of... Damn it. As I was saying, it's kind of interesting in a way that there are so many volcanoes in the world. Damn it. As I was saying, and many unexplored... Damn it! As I was saying, many unexplored... Damn it! Many unexplored mysteries and such. Will they ever let me finish a sentence, damn geodudes? Okay, now they did. These Pokemon are rude. So very rude. Never let me finish a sentence until I get to the end. When I've just barely finished my sentence. Right, that's, um... Right, I see. Might as well go get that. Move the boulder! I think we're supposed to smash this rock first. Get me that. And use that. It's taking forever just to get here. Damn it! As I was saying, it's taking forever to get here, but now we're finally here. Well, not yet. We're waiting Firestone. As I was saying, though, we are not quite there yet. We have to climb this little mountain here. Let's see if there's anything else around here, though, first. Yes, there is. An Ultra Ball. Makes up for the one we used on Persian, I suppose. Wait, is there anything in that rock? Why, yes, there is. There's another Firestone. I knew there had to be something. They wouldn't just put a rock out in the middle of nowhere like that. It seems like they're hiding something. The item finder would have picked it up quite easily. Right. Um, let me think here. Right, this shouldn't be too hard. Some of these looked confusing to me when I was younger, but not these days. Look who it is, bears! Guess who? It's our old good friend Moltres. You remember Moltres from our RLP, right, viewers? You know, he gave us trouble a couple of times. You remember that? Yes? No? Well, this time, Moltres, you shall bow down to me. Well, he bowed down to me the last time because I defeated you more than once. Quite a few times, actually. You can use the jilty all you want, Moltres, but you are mine! Let's just hope I don't accidentally knock. Oh, good. Moltres knew I was in there, I forget about that. Good! That would have knocked Moltres out if not for that. I would say would have knocked him out, but he doesn't have a gender. And I just said he's a he anyway. I guess we'll just refer to Moltres as a he. Oh, damn it, we can't even switch out yet. Right, we might as well use an Ultra Ball while we're waiting. It won't work, but passes the time, I suppose. Man, it's gonna suck when we send out Magneton. How long is this fire spin gonna last? Come on, even though it'll never work that way. Or will it? Oh, you tried to get my hopes up, you bastard. Come on, man. That fire spin's going on too long now. Need to send up Magneton to paralyze Motor so we get a better chance at this. Finally! It sent out the big guns. Magnetar! Gotta be careful though. Moltres could probably one-shot me. He probably will though, won't he? Er, uh, Thunder Wave. Oh, what a fool he was! He could've used Flamethrower and knocked 
Magneton out, but nope. He wants to up his speed even more for some reason. What a fool. Ultra Ball. Oh, not even a one. Oh, come on. Your speed is already maxed out. What are you doing, man? You gotta be careful. Once this guy runs out of moves, he'll start using struggle, and that will knock him out. Ow. Come on, Moltres. Get in the Pokeball. Come on, boy. Be a good boy, or whatever the hell you are. One. Yeah! Oh, man. And this isn't even close to the worst to catch with an Ultra Ball. You know what? I think I actually caught a legendary Pokemon with a normal Pokeball once. It was very random. I think it was one of these. It was, yeah, one of the legendary birds. I was using Ultra Balls and then I was like, oh, screw it. I've only got a po Ultra Balls left. I threw a Poke Ball and he caught him. I was like, whoa, are you serious? I mean, damn. The last rare legendary Pokemon in this game that I will catch, though, um, if I manage to catch with a Pokeball, I'd be like, damn. Sorry, Magneton. Alright. Nido Queen. Could have just sent out Vaporeon, but oh well. Ultra Ball! Come on! Damn it! Don't you just hate when you're trying to catch a rare Pokemon with an Ultra Ball because you don't want to use up your Master Ball because you know you're going to need it for something else. Annoying. I'll just spoil it if what the Master Ball will be for if I ever encounter the bastard is Entei. Because after you beat the Pokemon League, apparently I will Entei, Raikou, or Suicun, Suicune, whatever, depending on which your starter Pokemon was, will randomly appear. And they're like Latias and Latias from Pokemon Ruby, Sapphire, and Emerald. Where you probably want to use your Master Ball on them. Quite annoying. But that's only if we encounter him before we get to the end of the game. If we get to the end of the game and haven't encounter him, then screw Entei. Come on, Moltres. Stop being so damn stubborn. I could probably throw a great ball and probably catch him, wouldn't it? Come on, Moltres. Screw it, I'm actually gonna try that. Great ball. Sometimes the Great Balls actually do a better job than the Ultra Balls, but not in this case. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Fire Spin better have a lot of power points. Otherwise, I am screwed. Damn it, Moltres! Oh man, I can't believe this is only the beginning of this annoyance. Ultra Ball! I can't afford to waste the turn on healing either. I mean, damn. Pretty harsh. Okay, Vaporeon, your turn. Ultra Ball! You can see why we needed so many Ultra Balls now, right, viewers? I mean, look at this guy. He's not letting up at all. I mean, damn. What a pain. One. Damn it! He's more annoying to catch than he was to recruit in Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, wasn't he? I mean, damn. This is taking forever. Yeah, stay paralyzed, man. Don't use up any of your moves. 
One. Damn it! It only goes one. Keep paralyzed, okay? And get in the Pokeball now. With Ultra Ball. One. Two. Three. Yeah! Gotcha, Moltres! Yeah! The Flame Pokemon, one of the legendary bird Pokemon. Those seeing it are overwhelmed by its orange wings that seem to be on fire. Well, I think they're made of fire. I don't know about you. Of course not. No nickname for Moltres. I'm not creative enough for that. Now we'll stand in your place. We are the king of Mount Ember now, Moltres. Not really. Anyway, viewers, I'll see you next time.